Joining me now is the governor of North Carolina, Republican Pat McCrory. Good morning, Governor. Thank you for being with us. Seems to be a solution that your state has found. Is it? I, I believe it is one of many solutions. In fact, uh, when I came into office last January 5th of last year, we owed the federal government $2.5 billion for unemployment compensation. Our businesses owed the federal government that much money. And our unemployment rate was the fifth highest in the nation. In addition, I had many employers telling me that they had open jobs, but people were not taking those jobs. So we decided to try something different uh, as opposed to trying strategy that was making North Carolina one of the highest uh, unemployment rates in the country. And we decided to reduce our unemployment compensation equal to what South Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia were paying. And we also agreed to not extend unemployment further. And since that point in time, especially during the last three to four months, or we've had the largest drop in unemployment rate in the country from 9.4% to 6.9%. And employers are telling me that people are taking jobs now that, that are available. Well, what you're saying then is a complete antithesis to what we were hearing from those on the left who said, no, the, if, you, if you cut those benefits, uh, people are not going to go out and find work. You have found otherwise in your state. That's correct. You know, a lot of times people hold on until they find the job they want or they dreamed of. And we've all wanted to do that, but we've also at times in our lives taken jobs that were not the perfect jobs and jobs that we don't want because we need to uh, put food on the plate and pay our rent and pay our mortgages. And I think that's what people are doing at this point in time, which means they at least get their foot in the door as opposed to being on government sure. benefits while at the same time reducing debt that businesses owe the federal government at this time, which will free up more money for jobs in North Carolina in the long term. Uh, Governor, how do you respond to the critics that say that 40,000 have dropped out of the labor force, that it might not work this system? Well, that well, actually, that's happening across the nation. So North Carolina is no different than that. In fact, our, our rate of dropping out of the workforce is a little lower, but there's no real answer as to why. Part of that might be the demographics of the baby boomers getting older since the recession of 2008. But the one variable that makes North Carolina different than the rest of the nation is the decision we made on unemployment. And since we made that decision, we've had the largest drop in unemployment. So. Uh, the variable of other people uh, dropping out of the workforce is true in all states, okay. and it has nothing to do with the unemployment compensation. Let's talk about all states. There are some that say, okay, North Carolina governor, it works for you. Not going to work across the nation. It cannot work on a federal level. You say? I think there's a point in time where we need to change our strategy and, and, and encourage people to get into the private sector jobs that are currently open. By the way, we also have a responsibility to ensure that they get the right skill set to move in these jobs because another problem we all have is there are certain jobs open where we can't find the qualified people to find those jobs even with a high unemployment rate. So we're all a part of the solution. Unemployment compensation is just one of those regarding the decision we made here in North Carolina. Governor, um, and I think we made the right decision. It was not an easy decision, but it was the right decision. Well, proof seems to be in the numbers, according to many, and in your state. Has anyone uh, from the government, White House, called you, Capitol Hill, said, hey, this is working. What, what can we do here on a national level? Anyone gotten in touch with you? Mm -hmm. No. In fact, when we made the decision, we've got some pretty harsh criticism from um, the Labor Department um, and the Labor Secretary at the time. And we've had a lot of protests here, too, kind of Wisconsin-style protests. But my goal was to lower the unemployment rate. Um, being the fifth highest in the nation was unacceptable, and now we're not even in the top 30. So now I also am working on other things like a major storm about to hit North Carolina today. So uh, it's, we're doing the right thing at this point in time, and that's getting people to fill jobs that are open. And that spurs the economy as opposed to the only – we don't want the incentive of the economy to be new federal money coming into our state. That's a short-term stimulus that doesn't have long-term sustainability. Okay. Governor, we thank you for being with us this morning from the great state of North Carolina. Seems to be working there. We'll keep an eye on thank it. Thank you.